Cool, so I just got a uh, delivery, the delivery man came, um, which is pretty cool. And it's all the insulation and the sound deadening and all that type of stuff to uh, put into the GDR. So we'll have a little look at it. I might even weigh it. Um, I think that's a good idea. Everyone wants to know the weight of things. Um, so let's do it. Here's the puppies here. So this should be the sound deadening. Uh, I've got four boxes of it. Should do the whole entire car. Uh, I've got some scales here. Uh, this will be all the tape and the fitting kits and all that type of stuff. And then this is for the firewall to do that, um, uh, what do you call it? It's like a firewall blanket to keep all the sound and the noise um, and the heat and everything out. So pretty excited actually to get this going because then I can get the interior in once this is all in. Happy days. Okay, cut all this off. So what do we got here? So this is from uh, carbuilders.com.au. Um, these guys are legends because they supply a lot of stuff to do restorations on cars. Um, so super happy about that. So thanks guys. A little bit of a plug for you. So um, there's a square meterage each box. I've got four boxes. Supposedly we'll do majority of the car. Um, let's see if we can, uh, oh, we can get straight in there. So I opted for the black with the silver writing. You can just get all black or you can get silver with black writing. Oh uh, yeah, so that's the sticky side there. Boom, they come in sheets about that big. Mmm, lovely, jubbly. Okay, already cut this as well. Got to say, another um, shout out to these guys. They're kind of like professional. It's all packaged. Um, so this is the tape to help do the wiring looms. It's like a uh, material. This is like the new school stuff. So it should be good. Uh, invoices. Uh, <laughs> I can't say I'm much of a beer drinker, but thanks, guys. Hello, even a little um, bottle popper. Tape, roller. So this is the key here, really. Uh, this puppy here. Oh yeah, it's timber roller. Cool. Um, so you can use this side here just to get in all of like the spots, little bits and pieces. So I'll do like a time time lapse on installing this because I'll be able to set up the camera correctly. Uh, and here's some of the tape to uh, go between the joints. And well, we all got knives. Oh yeah, and a few blades. Legends. Huh. You guys are awesome. Let's have a look at this one. Actually, I just want to come back to this and uh, look at this, how he's cut all these out as well. Now, this is a sign of the deluxe OCD. I fucking love this. Well done, guys. Honestly. Yes, the OCD life. <laughs> Okay, so this is what I was talking about. So this is a mass noise liner. Um, just weigh it first, might be a bit easier. Oh, disappeared on us. One sec. So we're dealing with eight kilos if I use all of it, which I doubt I will. This is the stuff here, so as you can see, um, it's nice and thick, keeps all the heat down and the noise down. And I'll show you um, obviously you'll see the original one um, and that's going to turn out so much nicer. Premium sound blanket. Hallelujah! And this is one of the boxes, so about seven kilos, about the same. And obviously times that by four. I'll do a quick little... Uh, um, way off of all four of them on there. And peeky boo. Okay, 30 kilos. Plus that. So we're probably looking at about um, 32 kilos of insulation uh, going on the car. Now, I don't mind that. I'm gonna save uh, weight in uh, many other ways. I'm happy to put some on to have the comforts. Uh, 
Okay, as you can see here, this is the original firewall blanket. So it's looking pretty average, I think. This is the top left-hand corner. Um, we like the, you know, heater boxes and stuff like that. Your ECU would sit around about there. Uh, that's the tunnel. Um, and then there's the steering column. Uh, and then you've got the brake boosters and all that type of stuff and your clutch pedals and everything. So I don't think this is part of it. But as you can see here, like it's this stuff. I don't even know what that is, but that's just old school nasty. And it's ripped on this side. So can use it as a good template, that's for sure. But look what we're putting in now. Ooh. Just that new school, tidy, tidy. So actually, this is what, this will go on to the actual metal and then this will be what you'll see. So that's nice, easy to cut on here. So I'll move that onto here and we'll see what we're left over with. So not a hell of a lot left over. It's only Okay, so um, this is me just laying one of those four boxes in here just to get a bit of a measurement. I'm pretty happy because I've got three more boxes left. So one more box will do all of that side, plus probably do the wheel wells. Um, and then I've got up on the ceiling to do. And man, I'm gonna have plenty. Nice. Might even put some into this thing. So yeah, most of it's uh, done. Still can finalize some little bits and pieces, but the majority is in. And like, listen to this. On this uh, panel in here, we don't have anything, so I will chuck some into here. Uh, but once the painting's been done, in case they have to panel beat anything, uh, but listen to this. Cool, this was nothing on it. Go onto the roof. Listen to that. I don't even, like I'm hitting it pretty hard. That's with my nails, with my hand, with my nails, with my hand. Drastically different. Pretty sure we can all agree on that. Solid. Sorry if the lighting's a bit bad. She's a beast. So I'm thinking, just listen to that. It's gonna rattle around a bit, isn't it? Thinking I might have to put some on that. But what we'll focus on now is getting this um, uh, firewall blanket style all cut out. Um, and we'll see how we go. And what I might do is put the uh, 
put the old one in just to see how it sits uh, and see where it mounts onto because it mounts onto the top and holds because it's quite heavy, right? Um, so see how it sits and then see if I want to improve on the design or not and we'll, and we'll take it from there. Okay, let's have a quick, uh, better look. Mm. Mm. Not the easiest thing to maneuver, maneuver around in. Hello. Okay. So that's where the aircon heaters. And obviously a mount there, and we've got to watch out for that. So. All right, and that's how it sits. It might be a little bit difficult because these fold around, see? Kind of like molded. Um, but we'll see. See how she works out. Okay, so I thought before I put these in, uh, I would tidy them all up. This one's looking real nasty. I've actually blown this out. So I thought, decided I would uh, disconnect it all. So that's obviously the inlet side. And it's nice on the um, outlet side, which goes into the actual cabin. But we've got, to, we've got to tidy this up, don't we? This is what it looks like when it's fully open. It's really easy to open, I don't know, like five or six bolts, couple of clips, that comes out, that comes off, that comes out of the middle, you're left with this. Not exactly sure what I can do about all this, but I can at least clean it all up. And this is for, what's this part? Uh, this is where the heater hoses come into, I'm pretty sure. Or it might be the air con. Okay, I'm just using some water and a little bit of a scrubbing brush. That's all drying up now. So that one is definitely the uh, air con. And then this one here is the heater. So looks like I can pull this out. So I'm just gonna pull that out, pull this off. And that's the, um, the heating element for it, I guess. Um, but I don't need to disconnect this one too much because it's not too bad. There she is there. Just got another clip on the side as well. Just got to make sure that goes back in. So I'll just blow that out. Clean her all up. And lucky last we have the uh, uh, the fan, the motor. The beast. It's looking pretty sad. She's going to look nice soon. Got the clutch uh, pedal and the brake pedal. Uh, so I've reconditioned these. They come out really nice. Did these a little while ago. Satin black. Um, got new little bump stops for it and pedal covers, but I probably will go the um, R34 GTR alloy pedals and uh, dead stop as well. But for now, because I want to install these, I'm going to put these on, a little bit of grease on them. Hallelujah. There we go. And there we go. It's got a little R in the middle, which is nice. So I have sensors to go on there and one to go on there, uh, but I'll put them on later. Pretty happy with the way that this has turned out.
<laughs> it's pretty cool. Looking pretty shiny. Cool, so let's just give it a little bit of a test. So, um, that's my nail. That's my finger. Listen to that. Hopefully you can pick that up. Um, and that's just with those on the top there. And then this doesn't have anything. So I'm pretty sure we can all sort of uh, agree. That's gonna be a great difference in vibration, noise, and all that type of stuff. Um, so I will try and put down some thin underlay before I put the OEM carpet on here as well, just to give it a little bit more noise cancellation and it won't weigh bugger all. So I'm pretty happy about that. She's coming along. Um, and I did get the uh, tie rod ends on. Now I haven't uh, finalized that yet, but they are on. So that's cool. Look at it, ain't it just so beautiful? Still undecided on the brakes, but you know what? I really want to run 17s with two 7540s on it. I reckon it's a tough look, um, and I can't have anything over 330 mil uh, rotors. Um, and I actually do have an Evo 350 mil Brembo and rotor package that I took off my S15 to go 17s that I could put on this. So that's my dilemma. But then I would have to cut, like someone pointed out on one of the um, comments, I'd have to cut all of this off. See this? Because these are set up for 300 mil. And then I won't be able to run 17. So I think I'm just gonna go OEM. So if anybody's got OEM rear GTR calipers, I need a set because I put the rebuilt ones I had on this, for this, on the S15. So if anyone's got R32 rear GTR calipers, I would love to buy them. Obviously, you gotta hook a brother up. <laughs> and I've got the front ones already, all rebuilt, ready to go. So, Mmm. Ain't that hypertune nice? <whistles> Who doesn't like hypertune? And that's the update. Hope you guys like. Cool. So, yep, that's the update on the uh, GDR. Hopefully, you like it. Um, it's Sunday today. Uh, so, what's next? Um, just going to finalize all this under, under body coating, all this um, uh, sound deadening. Um, but I'm pretty much done on that. Um, and pretty much going to look at the wiring now. So the big box of wiring, which is underneath that. Um, I'm going to try and refurbish it to a certain degree. Uh, and then chuck it all in. Then it's underlay. And then the OEM carpet. And fuck, it'd nearly be dash time. Ooh. Ooh, hoo, hoo, hoo. Dash, got a nice dash too. It's in perfect condition. Um, ah, it's a bit early for dash, I think. A bit early for dash. Actually, uh, maybe somebody can tell me. Uh, do you put your dash in uh, and your seats and stuff like that? before it goes to the painters. So obviously there's no windows or anything like that. It will go as a rolling shell. Do I put the dash in, but just cover it all up? Cause I would love to put the dash in, but what do people normally do? Do you leave it out so it doesn't get damaged? Um, you leave the seats out. I'm going to leave uh, all of the back interior trim out. I'm happy to do that, but I would like to finalize everything. Uh, let me know if you could, uh, if anybody knows, anyone's been through the process, much appreciated. Thanks team.